Today's top stories. Australia's Foreign Minister Stephen Smith said Australia has imposed new unilateral travel and financial restrictions against a total of 20 individuals and 18 organizations tied to Iran's nuclear and missile programs. Among the entities listed are Iran's Bank Mali and Bank Sadarat, the Ministry of Defense and Armed Forces Logistics, the Malek Ashtar University, and a number of high-ranking Islamic Revolution Guards Corps officials, including Defense Minister and IRGC Brigadier General Mohammad Mostafa Najjar. Smith told Parliament today that the measures were not intended to obstruct legitimate trade between Canberra and Tehran, but rather to prevent any trade that would contribute to Iran's nuclear program. But Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov today questioned the effectiveness of unilateral sanctions against the Islamic Republic, calling the practice counterproductive. Over 300 non-governmental organizations from 82 countries today called on the United Nations member countries to ban the execution of juvenile offenders, as stipulated in international agreements, including the Convention on the Rights of the Child. The petition, co-sponsored by the London-based Children's Rights Information Network and the New York-based Human Rights Watch, was issued today at the UN General Assembly, beginning a three-day debate on the rights of the child. Four Iran-based NGOs signed the petition. Iran says that it does not execute minors, but juvenile offenders are eligible to be executed once they reach 18 years of age. Oil prices fell to a 13th-month low today, amid concerns that the global financial crisis would lead to further cuts in demand for crude. U.S. crude fell to $75.62 per barrel at 11.52 GMT, its lowest price in September 2007. Iran's oil minister Holam Hossein Nozari today warned that low oil prices will have an impact on projects for expansion of oil production capacity. Iran, the world's fourth largest oil producer, has expressed dissatisfaction with the lower crude prices, as its economy is highly dependent on oil revenues. Nozari predicted that OPEC would cut oil output at an emergency meeting to be held on November 18th in Geneva. Speaking at a one-day conference in Tehran entitled Iran and British Colonialism, the president of Tehran University, Farhad Rabar, said yesterday that Muslim countries had suffered the most damage under hundreds of years of Britain's dark colonialism. Rahbar said since foreigners want to tamper with Iran's history, the purpose of the conference was a message to the youth, with the aim of preparing the groundwork for claims against England's old colonialists. These stories and more at IranVNC.com.